welcome to the Reds Effect Season 1 finale. The tux is back out. I'm suffering because it's really hot outside, but hey, you gotta have the tux out in the first and last episode of the season. It just makes sense. Today we are tackling an aerial running effect as requested by Steven Simmons, who asked us to do an aerial running effect. So, jump into After Effects and let's get this done. Here we are guys, back in After Effects once again. My aerial footage is in a comp and all set up. What's that? You don't have any aerial footage? Well, I found this free clip on the stock footage site and you can download it below. Got that? Good, let's begin. I'll head up to layer and select new solid. Make sure the color is set to black and I'll call it streak 1. Okay, let's turn that off for now and zoom in a bit on our video. Making sure that the solid is still selected, let's hit G on the keyboard to change our tool to the pen or masking tool. Now draw a mask along the road, zigzagging around obstacles and so on. Make sure that when you draw this mask, you round the corners at any turns like I'm doing. This makes it look more realistic as you wouldn't form a perfectly straight line when you round a bend. Now that that's all done, let's turn our solid back on. Okay, head up to effects, video copilot and drop saber onto your solid. Now hit the customize core setting and change the core type to layer masks. Now you should have the saber following your mask path. Okay, let's now change the preset to electric and here come a lot of settings guys, so prepare yourselves. Let's change the color to a light reddish orange, the glow intensity to 60%, the glow spread to 0.10%, the glow bias to 0.17, and the core size to 1.50. Okay, in the distortion section, let's set the glow distortion to zero and the core distortion to a really low number. I went with 0.5. Back up in the customized core section, let's adjust the start size to 0%, the start roundness to 0.50, the end size to 80%, and finally, the end roundness to two. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, now change the blend mode of your solid to add. Now I can hear you say, hey, always, you egghead, that's one pretty long flash you got there. Yes, I know. Will you let me fix it? Huh? Will you? Okay, let's go. Set the start and end offset to zero and turn on keyframing for both of them. Make sure you're at the start of when you want your animation to start when you do this. Now head forward say about 3 frames and boost the end offset to an amount that covers a nice distance. For me, in this case, it was 65%. Then turn up the start offset to an amount that looks good also. Again for me, in this case, it's 25%. If you want your flash to run in the opposite direction like in some of the other examples I showed, then just reverse these settings. So let's head forward another 3 frames and do the same sort of adjusting. Here I'll change the end offset to about 100 and the start to around 65. It's completely up to you what your numbers end up being, all based on personal preference guys. Now for the end I'll move say 2 frames forward for a bit of change and crank both those numbers up until they're out of the frame. Now this looks good but it's missing a little bit of motion blur, so let's add that. Head up to effects time and drop a CC force motion blur onto your solid. Okay, now just change the motion blur samples to 2 and the shutter angle to 90. And there you go, your very own flash running around the city of your choice. You can duplicate this plane, change the mask and adjust the keyframes as many times as you want. Go wild. But follow those steps, enter all those settings, be determined and you'll probably end up with something that looks like this. <laughs> Before I end this episode and this season off, I want to address the fact that this effect is not done in Hit From 4 Express. I want you guys to know that my main priority will always be Hit From 4 Express. I, if, I always want to do something free, low budget, indie for all of you guys who can't afford software there like After Effects or Hit From Pro. But when it comes to effects that can't be done at all, like a Quicksilver slow motion effect or a Wolverine close effect or Flash Aerial running effects. I have to go over to After Effects. Now there are options of doing a hit from Pro, hit from Pro 2017, hit from Pro Pro, but those are paid softwares. So if we're gonna work in paid softwares, we might as well just migrate over to After Effects and do our work in there. So I hope you guys can understand that aspect of the show. Keep sending requests forward. I will always make sure that I can do it in hit from Pro Express before I even attempt to try it in After Effects. But if they can't be done in hit from Pro Express, After Effects is gonna be the only alternative that we have. Anyway, that's it for this episode as well as this season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, when I say thank you a lot, 
to every single person who liked the video, who watched the video, who shared the video, who subscribed to this channel, because this has been an amazing 2016, an amazing first season, and I couldn't thank you guys enough for all the requests, all the positive comments, because I get so many every day. So thank you to all of you. I might not respond to all of them, because there's quite a few, but I try my best. Hope you guys enjoy your holiday, you know, have fun in a good way, be safe, and I'll see you next year for Red's Effects Season 2.